This was totally unexpected. I was just uh, on the side of the road going up to my neighbor's house, the pest house, and I was swinging and hit a 71. And yeah, this thing came out. That is a, uh, that's a big gemstone. Uh, I can't imagine that's real. That does not look like silver or anything, but that is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Huh, keep going. So I'm very excited. It is now not daylight savings time anymore. So it's gonna be light later, which means we can detect a lot longer and it's warm. And we have lobster biscuit the house for dinner. So neither of us has to cook. And I just found this very nice buckle. I think it's, you know, a tack buckle, but it's cool, you know, sunshine. There you are, but it's a good start. I am gonna find something, something good today. I can feel it. It's just too nice out not to. 79.80. Oh my goodness, it's still frozen beneath that though. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's awesome. got some more on the back. But yeah, 243 Railroad. Bank, Lancaster, New Hampshire. Okay, so Pasumsic is a, is a New Hampshire word. So P A S S U M P S I C Railroad. Pasumsic huh. Railroad. That's pretty cool. So I just had a 67 signal and dug around in the hole and pulled up a clob of dirt and this was in there and this was in there and they don't really seem to go together. Oops, sorry. I mean, this thing, this thing right here is clearly part of a buckle. But this other thing, I have no idea what it is. It looks sort of badge-like, but then it also looks sort of lock plate-like. I, I don't know. It's pretty, we'll see what it cleans up to. Right down here, just about three, four inches down, there's this really nice flat button. Probably Tom back, but yeah, cool. Like finding buttons. So I just had a signal in the low 20s, but very steady. And it was that, which that's got, I'm a change purse written all over it. Change purse handle thing. So I'm gonna search this area very carefully and see if I can find the rest of it. Woo hoo, super excited. Surprised to find something like this on the surface. This is a, uh, a Garda clip. It was ringing up straight out 52. So, yeah. Interesting. I would have thought it would have been deeper because I can't imagine somebody was wearing a Garda clip out here recently. Well, I'm in the trees. This is my leg. This is the tree that's next to me. I'm just in the middle of some trees here, but I had a really good signal in the 70s. I'm still searching for the, the change that goes with that coin purse that I found. But I just found this right here, which is definitely a utensil handle, but it's going to take a while to extract it from all of these roots that are here. So I'll be back. Well, I'm back and I extracted it and it is not a utensil. It is a door handle? I feel like that's a door handle, yeah? It's awfully small. I'd, I'd have a hard time opening that. I can only fit a few fingers in there, but it's pretty. It's brass, but it's not a piece of silverware. <laughs> but it's cool. I uh, had a uh, strong 78 signal here with uh, some iron all around, but I was able to pinpoint on that signal and 
I got my first weedy of the year. Yay. So that is cool. Uh, I don't have a year yet, but uh, if it's a good one, I'll, I'll show it. So I decided to detect down the edge of this wall here. I'm on the outside of the wall. It's a very tall wall. It's five feet tall right here. It's a beautiful wall. Parts of it have fallen down, but it's beautiful. Normally we're over there. <laughs> so I went down the edge. There's been almost nothing. The one thing I did find that was kind of interesting, yeah, it screws onto this and it's got a nozzle right there and then a uh, the lever right there and then another thing right here and I don't know what this thing is for there may be some writing on there Sparkets New York Corporation Sparklets I think it's Sparklets man I'm sorry I'm not live digging these this again I'm just uh, sound like a terrible signal I popped it out and uh see the edge it looks like a buckle oh getting some beautiful buckles up here that's got some interesting fancy on it all right there's some text here and design there and stars around the bottom it looks like uh definitely clean this up and hope you get to see it in the wrap-up so i just had a beautiful mid 60s in every direction only said it was about four inches deep but i'm fighting cold ground and i just got really close and moved some dirt and i see this thing in the hole so i'm gonna grab it i don't know what it is yet hopefully it's something good not a bazinga it is the ring from a watch it is definitely the ring from a watch right oh no it's something else because that is a loop Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. There we go, yeah. So it's some sort of a, I don't know. I think this may be ornamental. I'm not really sure what this thing is, but it's definitely all of it and it's cool. That's pretty. So I just had a really nice uh, 46 signal, which can be garbage, but it can also be something good. And I pulled out this, which we just had a, rousing discussion about what it probably is. Go over in the sun here. So I'm thinking, it's got this 40 on it. So I'm thinking that maybe because it has just this one knobby thing and you can see that it used to be shiny. Um, maybe it's like a key, room key holder. Like, you know, it was for room 40. Cause there was some other structures here. So maybe there was some sort of a boarding house at one time or something. Cause there's a 40 stamp there. There's a nail hole there, and then there's this, this thing right here. And it wouldn't be for horse number 40 in the horse barn because that's not big enough to hold any kind of tack, but maybe a string that a key was on. So I'm over near the stone wall here, and I just had a uh, signal in the 50s. And it is this thing, which has this clippy on the back, so I'm feeling like maybe it's a rosette. Feels like it might be lead. So I don't know if they adorned their tack with lead, but it's definitely got a clip to attach it to something. So I'm going to go with rosette, horse tack rosette thing. It's pretty cool. It'll clean up nice, I think. It's quite heavy, though, so I feel like it's lead. So it is getting dark. The sun has gone down, but I still want to stay out here because it's so beautiful. And I was just digging in some frozen earth, and I was being more aggressive than I should have been. But out of it came... This guy, who's very pretty, he needs to be cleaned up, of course, but it's a very nice buckle. Uh, it's, it's a little bent, but may, maybe it was already bent. Maybe I didn't do it. May, maybe the ground had already bent it, and it's not my fault. Maybe. Maybe. So that's that's what we're going to tell Mike. I got so. a bent penny. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-nine, eighty. This is only four inches down, so we are going to assume it's a memorial, but maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Hey, 
There it is. Yep. There's Lincoln. Huh? It's a weedy. Yay. 20s to 30s, maybe. Well, cool. Yay, coin. Even if it is a weedy, I'm happy. So we're somewhere right in here. Not sure what it's going to be, but I figured we could see if it's something good. There it is. And it's a big chunk of iron. GoPro, stop recording. And now I have a beautiful 57 to 63. So many roots here, it's so hard to, ah, oh, darn it. GoPro, stop recording. This was a junky signal, uh, and I thought it was just junk. And I mean, maybe it is, but man, it's got some really nice fancy on it for just a metal uh, band. I don't know if you can see that, it's really cool. But yeah, all the way, all the length of this, so, huh, interesting. So I have another signal in another frozen hole. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it's green. So I'm gonna try to extract it here using my hammer and chisel method. Not a coin, but looks like it might be something delicate. This end there. Uh, it's got something on it. <gasps> that's a shoe buckle. That's what that is. I think that's a shoe buckle. It's not a shoe buckle. It's the other part of my change purse. It's the other half. There's the clasp. So that means the whole change purse was right in this pretty close vicinity because I don't know where, but I dug the other half right near here somewhere. So there has to be some change here. Front of the house, front stone wall and I was popping this out and I saw it, it came off the side here. Uh, big, big spoon. Got some really nice fancy on that. Very cool. Oh yeah, same on the back, nice. Maybe we can get a maker's mark later on. So I have a signal in this hole that was in the 40s and 50s. Wasn't sure what it was. And then I got to a point where I think I saw the signal and there it is. So I was trying to sort of extract it. So let's see if it's something, it's fat. <gasps> did I find another fat Indian? If I did, that would be awesome. I have a blank slate. Okay, what's on this side? Come on, show me something. Show me something, whoops. <laughs> it says one cent on this side. I know it does. I had it there for a second, but it's really thick. So I'm going to call this a fat Indian head. I feel very strongly that that's what it is because look at how fat it is. Yeah, look at how much fatter that is. I definitely found a fatty. Cool. Well, this was kind of interesting. Uh, it was like a high 70, low 80 signal, but also uh, with some iron sound. But this makes sense now because I believe that is going to be a bell. Huh. That's a door. It hangs over a door and oh. it moves, it rings, like you see in stores and stuff. There you yeah. go. So yeah, it's like a door, old doorbell. You know, hanging up over the top and then so, you open the door, it shakes it and it rings. Yeah, or shook something hanging maybe, I, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of cool. So right here was the bell and it had another 80 signal and just popped that in. This came flying out of the hole. So yeah, another piece of that old doorbell. Uh, yeah, it's like the ringer's cooked, but uh, very, very nice uh, brass outing, very thick. So I just had to work really hard for this. Uh, semi-frozen ground, but it was like straight up and down. And so I was trying really hard not to break it, but it is definitely a brass watch back. It's got the, the right edge on it. It's got little moments of, of shiny, like, 
you know, like right there. So I, I really feel like this was part of a pocket watch. So that's cool. So this was a uh, 8081 on the 18 Max. 70s for me. And 70s on the Simplex. And it's something roundish, but it's probably not a coin. Yep. So that part's coming off. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. The brass, brass plating. Yeah. There we go. Definitely was a good signal. Yeah, because it's round. This thing screwed back and this moved back and forth. I don't know what it moved back and forth on, but it moved back and forth. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Darn, I should have live dug this one. So here's a quick shot of where the barn used to be. Uh, great, great wall foundation. I mean, you can see the walls everywhere. But yeah, so along this uh, barn wall. Oh, very cool. It's the smallest one they found. Uh, it's really deep down in there, probably about eight, nine inches. And look at it, it's a little, little croto. And oh, it's missing its portion of it. So probably no ringer, but still a really cool find. I'm finding those. I've had a really nice high 70s, low 80s signal in every direction. First non-garbage signal in this area. And I just found this. Ooh, that's an oldie. I think this might be a Tootsie toy. This is a solid metal truck. This is nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's gonna clean up really nice. And that is a nice antique toy truck. Look at that. Welcome everybody to the wrap up. Precious and I are uh, really excited because we're finding a lot of variety of uh, old relics up at the past house and uh, yeah, it's been very cool. So we'll try to get through this quickly. I know the video's getting long. Large chunky iron, a whole bunch of copper tubing. There's a uh, lot of lead up there, more than what you see on the plate. Oh, a whole bunch of miscellaneous doodads, variety of bullets, including an old arrow tip, some miscellaneous horse tack. Not sure what this is, maybe part of a lantern. Wife found a uh, small but heavy uh, door handle. Found this doorbell system, it hangs on the door and anytime the door opens, closes, it jingles. I love this. My wife found a salsa spritzer. Goes on a bottle and uh, pop a cartridge in here and tsh, make your own salsa water. Found this little Oscar the Grouch can. My wife and I, we're not really knowledgeable in bottles, but this one said bitters on it. So I'm not sure how long ago that stopped. A couple bent spoons and an iron lock plate. Got a little collection of toy cars, uh, including this Tootsie toy Persis found. Persis got a harmonica reed and parts of a clock. I found this, I believe this is like a walking stick top. Persis also found two watch plates. She found this slide buckle, which is pretty cool. It's ornate and uh, yeah, that went in the middle and I guess a belt slid through there. Some other iron buckles and clean this little tiny baby buckle I found, pretty cool. <laughs> Got a belt clip and that might be part of something like that. And three nice uh, suspender clips, buckles, including this beauty, which is a uh, centennial has the cross sabers. Uh, it says Centennial there in 18, uh, 1776 and 1876. Got me most of a Croto Bell. This was really neat. A railroad luggage tag or something to that effect. Um, 1840s, that one dates. Pretty cool. And Persis found this. I think it's a key holder. It has the number 40, a little hook there. So yeah, you probably have a string, key on a string found this clock pendulum very neat just lead it was brass plated but the patina had just come right off when we dug it out uh, but yeah you would adjust that and uh, it was the pendulum of a clock some buttons and a couple pieces of jewelry this is very light it looks big and heavy but it's not it's hollow uh, all brass and uh, I'm not really sure what went in there but it definitely uh, hung on something like a chain or something to that effect and this was at the side of the road 
beautiful blue. Uh, you can only assume that's glass, but it's a very old trinket, a uh, piece of jewelry. And Purse has found this gorgeous rosette. I mean, it's lead, but it's like silver plated. This was great. She again found uh, a couple of money purse clips and with it, another fatty, uh, 1862. So I think a third year Indian, but very cool. She did that. Uh, we were at a cell hole too. She found some couple press clips and then found a fat Indian. So she did that twice so far in the last couple months. Uh, and then two wheat pennies. Uh, I believe that was a 44 and a 16. Well, I hope you've been enjoying our time at the pest house. Um, now that uh, everything should be melting for this coming weekend, uh, hopefully dealing with no more ice, we can actually start gridding the place. Um, it's really hard when you're just walking around random willy-nilly and uh, just trying to find things. We much prefer a more organized method, but uh, yeah, that should be coming. So stay tuned and uh, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it.